What else is the favor of Allah? The fact that you're a Muslim, you believe in Allah alone, you worship Allah, you obey His instruction. All of those are the favor of Allah. And the second thing Allah makes mention of is the mercy. When Allah has mercy on you, Wallahi, even if you've got nothing material, even if you don't have a salary and you are unemployed, that mercy of Allah will give you contentment. Do you know what? I've been surviving on avocados which grow, mashallah, in this country. I've been surviving on avocados for the last month and just a little bit extra here and there wherever I can. But Alhamdulillah, laka alhamdu wa laka shukru ya wajidu jalla jalaluk. I thank you, O oh Allah. Oh, if you can say that while you are surviving on something that most would consider meager, you know what? There are others who are depressed, although they are surviving on brilliant food. MashaAllah. There are others who are depressed simply because something small went wrong in their lives. And here we are. Everything has gone wrong according to the world, but right according to Allah. So that's why we have the mercy of Allah. Surely that mercy is better than anything you can amass. Look, I tell you a rule. If the happiness of Allah was connected to giving you in this world, the most pious from amongst us would be the wealthiest. Straight. That's the rule. And if the anger of Allah was connected to taking away from you in this world, the worst from amongst us would be the poorest from amongst us as well. But Allah says, لا يغرنك تقلب الذين كفروا في البلاد متاع قليل. When you see those far from Allah, those who've disbelieved, those who are sinful, or whatever else it may be, in this verse Allah speaks of the disbelievers, and He says, when you see them with much on earth moving around on the earth, don't let it deceive you about what. Don't let you think for a moment we are pleased with them. That's why we gave them. Allah says, Mata'un Qalil. They have the luxury for a short time. That's it. They have though that provision only for a short time. After that, we will deal with them. Allah says, We will deal with them. So, what is better? Look, the scholars from amongst us, in all honesty, in many places, they are the least paid. Let's be honest and let's be frank. They are the least paid, yet their job is more important than the doctors. Their job is more important than a lot of the others. Don't you agree? But they are the least paid. You know what? People say, well, you know, you're supposed to be sincere. Rich guys will look at a scholar who is struggling to survive and say, don't worry, Allah will give you your reward in the Akhirah. My brother, my brother, what did you just say? Allah will give you your reward in the Akhirah. But all this goes to show that scholar or no scholar, it's not necessarily a sign of the pleasure or displeasure of Allah. It's Allah for you, testing you to say, strive a little bit for as long as you have two things, you have more than what that millionaire has. What are these two things? Fadlillahi wa birahmati. The virtue of Allah, the favor of Allah. He favored you to get up for Fajr. You have more, even if you have your bank balance that is zero, but in the balance of Allah, you had more than the whole world. Because why? I, Allah accepted me to get up for Salatul Fajr. Wow, that's it.